Do you want to learn how to improve your endurance on trumpet? Today, I'll teach you how through a proper warm up. Hi, my name is Chris Davis. Welcome to a channel that I call Trumpet Lessons HQ. Here, I teach trumpet fundamentals. I give you tips, demonstrations, and encouragement to help you become a better trumpet player faster. If that's what you need, go ahead and press the subscribe button now. First, I want to say that a routine is different than a warm up. So today we're talking about warming up. If you want to learn about having a trumpet routine, I made a video about that and you can watch that after this video. So warming up is very important. Consider if you're about to play any sport whatsoever. I like basketball. Before you play a sport, you need to warm up. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you something. Once upon a time, I didn't always warm up before I played sports and I tore my hamstring something serious and it all could have been avoided with the proper warm up. I pushed myself way too hard. So uh, for me, on this occasion, lesson learned the hard way, unfortunately. But the same is true when you're playing the trumpet and you don't want to learn the lesson the hard way when you're playing the trumpet. Uh, it hurts when you pull the muscle, period. But uh, here in the face, I, I don't even want to imagine that. So anyway, I'm talking about warming up Today we're going to buzz and we're going to play some long tones and that's it. If you're going to buzz, you're going to have a flat chin, you're going to have firm corners, you're going to be pliable in the center here and center of your lips so that air can pass through. These are good habits. This is how we want to play trumpet anyway. And by playing with proper form, we're physically making our job easier. So when we are in more high pressure situations, we are less likely to uh, use pressure against the chops. The fact is we're going to default to what we're used to doing. So we want to become used to playing with good habits and not bad habits. So a proper warm up on a regular basis will help you improve your endurance. So I just want to make sure that we talk about that and that you're not rushing through your warm up or even skipping it all together. Why are long tones great? There are a lot of benefits to long tones. You know, I like them because we're not involving the fingers yet. So we're not trying to play anything technical yet. Uh, we're not playing slurs. So the tongue isn't doing any heavy work yet. And it's just the bare minimal thing that we need to focus on to play the trumpet well, which is uh, wind flow. Uh, our lips need to respond and vibrate to that wind flow and we're just sitting down with that that's all it is so far so we are uh, working on our coordination between wind and lips that's it so i really want you to keep this part of your warm-up easy going say those words back to me easy going yeah easy going uh, playing the trumpet is challenging all by itself so i think we should take just a little extra thought to keep things easy going <laughs> so at this point i want you to start each note with your wind we want again we want the lips to respond to the wind flow so don't tongue anything just yet it's in and out that's it and finally be sure not to play too loud so we're buzzing we got a flat chin firm corners our lips are pliable in the center we talked about buzzing before Visit that video if you need to, all right? So here we are, we're just, we got air only right now, and we're gonna bring the lips together a little bit more. Now we have a buzz. Now, if you're able to do that, do it. If, you, if, you're, if you're unable to change pitches yet in your free buzz, blow that one pitch over and again. But if you have a little more control, I want you to buzz this note. All right, so we're gonna buzz that um, on the lips alone, and then on the mouthpiece, and then on the trumpet. Rest again. Rest again. Rest one more time. One more time and hold it. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the mouthpiece. 
Fish. West. West. Hold it now. And then we're going to do it on the trumpet. Same thing on the horn. Rest. Rest. Again. Now hold it. So you're going to repeat that process diatonically up to G. After you buzz, play some long tones. You've got your choices here, guys. You can really play any long tones. I want to keep it moving, though. So I'm going to suggest that you play, that you play this. And you follow that same pattern down by half step until you get to the bottom of the trumpet. So after this, you should be warmed up. Again, warm up is different than your routine. But if you take time to do this on a regular basis, this will help you improve your endurance. Take your time, keep it easy going. And if you want to continue your learning, go ahead and click on another video and I'll see you there.